When you think of Nintendo, you mostly think of Mario. You know, the Italian that speaks mostly in Yaz, Waz, and Yahoo's. Yeah, that guy. Nintendo has been making Mario games for a while now, and they have many successes like the NES, one of the most popular consoles, and they just keep creating timeless classics. But Sega saw the constant success of Nintendo, and they said, Psh, I could do better. So they created a mascot to rival Nintendo, Sonic. So Sega made a platformer with unique sprites, fast-paced gameplay, and called it Sonic the Hedgehog. Now this game has grown very popular, but Nintendo wanted to show Sega who they were dealing with. So they spent years cooking up a brand new game, and then did something crazy. Nintendo created Super Mario 64. 3D gaming. Now, unlike a 2D game, you can move left, right, and north, making the movement possibilities now endless. This was insane. The depth of this game was amazing. But Sega wanted a piece of this 3D action, so they spent years creating their own brand new game, Sonic 3D Blast. Oh wait, that one was kind of bad. But they went three years later in creating Sonic Adventure. Now, this one was actually pretty good, so Nintendo had to step up their game. Alright guys, as you know, Super Mario 64 was a huge success. Everybody and their grandmas playing this game is more popular than sliced bread. So, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do for the next thing. Alex? Well, if we focus on the problems of the game and fix them thoroughly, we can have a higher chance of a better game. Alex, you're an idiot. You're fired and you're getting blown up. Wait, what? <sighs> Alright, Billy, do you got any ideas? B Billy. Billy. Billy! What? What do you want? But, do you have any ideas? <sighs> Suit yourself, I'm going to the beach. In a crazy move, Nintendo created a new game that goes for a fun in the sun type vibe. This goes perfectly with the summer release date. Now this game had everything, good controls, great mechanics, good level design, and surprisingly crispy water. And the first 3D Mario game to be difficult. And now Sega's up and they made a brand new game, Sonic Heroes. Uh, this game was kinda trash. And then they made Sonic 06, which was terrible. The glitches, horrendous controls, and the bad animation were not helping their games. Sega seemed to be struggling, but Nintendo didn't really care because they had a new goal in mind, to make a 3D game in space. This was the first to include most controls, but they weren't really always accurate. But dang, I still love swinging that Wii remote. Super Mario Galaxy was incredible to the levels, the aesthetic, the music. I guess you could say this game was out of this world. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe for more jokes like this. After the success of Super Mario Galaxy, Nintendo was pondering how to make a better game than this. So Mario creator Shigeru Miyamoto decided to take a long nap to be enlightened with ideas. Sega saw this as a perfect time to strike, so they made many games, like Sonic and the Secret Rings. Man, this game was awful. Uh, then Sonic and the Black Knight. Who thought giving Sonic a sword was a good idea? Then there's Sonic Unleash. Oh boy. Then Sonic 4. Uh, Sega can't financially recover from it. Developers at Nintendo were very confused on what to do, so they just decided to throw ideas and hope they stick. In which, they did. Nintendo has been very experimental with their games, and the fans have loved it. Sega was flabbergasted when they saw all these ideas and successes of spin-off Nintendo games, and created more awful games that took inspiration from Nintendo's lineup. And this started the Sega does what Nintendo's phase, like Mario Tennis, now Sega Superstar Tennis, or Mario Luigi, now Sonic Chronicles and the Dark Brotherhood. Mario Party? Mm-mm. Sonic Shuffle. Uh, Mario Kart? Sonic All-Star Racing. Oh wait, actually that one's pretty good. With the current track records of Sonic Yikes. games, Sega isn't really doing too good right now. But Shigeru Miyamoto has finally awoken from his slumber. And he thought to himself, what makes a great 3D Mario game? Then it clicked. With the brilliant minds at Nintendo, they spent a whopping 10 years and did something insane. They created Super Mario Odyssey. This game was simply magnificent. The, the controls were flawless, the world was beautiful, and the mechanics were genius. I've spent years playing this game and it never got old. This game is just very special, and with that, Sega was finally defeated. Now you may be wondering, what's next for Nintendo? They made an amazing 2D game and beat Sega time and time again. Are they gonna make a Super Mario Odyssey 2? A Super Mario Galaxy 3? Actually, it's none of those. Now don't tell anyone, but I know the next big 3D Mario game, and it's... Super Mario Ghost to Burger King Deluxe 2 with all new funky mode. And uh, can I get two number 